just a bloke in a bar. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the yearly Bloat FC squad selection. I am super excited to bring on ex-player and current head of performance. Shandor Rell has joined us, mate. Uh, first of all, would you like me to apply any uh, baby oil to your large muscular frame? Mate, I've, I've actually, I feel like I'm missing a bit on the delts here. So okay. I'll Matty, could you, could you please uh, Let's get a sort him out, please? Here. Just a touch up, mate, please. Um, yeah, you're looking a bit dry on the delts there, mate. Mm. Just quietly. It's, it's, you know what is strange is we both rocked up like dressed like this. That is very... I mean, Same but, chains, I mean... But that's why we're Bloat FC. Good taste. Good taste. <laughs> um, now, Maddie, I'm serious. Could you come and get this delt? Could you come out and touch this up? Um, anyway, uh, apparently uh, on the calendar, it's Year of the Hot Boy. That's, that's what I'm hearing. So there's, a lot of, there's been a lot of hype around Bloat FC this mm. year. We had a massive year last year. A few controversies off the field, unfortunately. Uh, a few blokes not whitening their teeth, not using the correct fake tan. Uh, some of their methods of moisturising were below par, if mm. I'm being honest. Uh, so there may be some surprises that uh, we have to announce this today. Uh, but, mate, is there any Smokies, before we get into the selection, is there any Smokies that have really stood out to you in this off-season? Well, mate, as you know, it's quite a nostalgic moment for me to be here um, as an old boy of Bloat FC. But, um, <laughs> mate, it's been, it's, for, in terms of off-season, it's been quite disappointing. There's been charity events and, you know, I'm, I'm all for people getting around certain things, but I just see a real lack of, as you said, moisturising, head shaves, like, like it's it's just not common. In my era, mm. you know, we, we wouldn't go near anything like that. So a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, absolutely. In your in, in our era when we were coming through, we rocked up every day with teeth white as snow, tan perfect. None of that ashy knee stuff. None of that stuff. No I, I honestly I came through my whole career, not a single dry bit of skin I saw. And mate, at the end of that, it's not a personality contest. It's it really you, isn't. It's you got six packs. Yeah, you got teeth whitened. <laughs> yep. and you've got a skin fade. Or mate, you're just not going to make the cut. Like that's the reality of it's 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 a tough gig here. Mate. But you know, as head of performance, <laughs> culture and standards here is a big one for us, brother. So <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, look, I've this. We've had some a few rookies that have really stood out to us. Mm. Uh, especially uh, a special mention at the top of the show, Harley Smith Shields. Oh. I mean, Glamour. he's really impressed me this year, especially mm. this off-season. Had an injury last year, so it gave an opportunity to get in good habits mm. in regards to taking care of himself and understanding that there's more to a football team than winning rugby league matches. It's about looking good when you do it. 100%. And what you do on the field and in the gym is important, but if you're not willing to put in 10 to 15 minutes after your gym session, a little bit of buys, a little bit of tries couple of six pack you know a bit, a bit of abs on the cable machine then again it's going to be hard for you to get a run in bloat fc <laughs> mate it's going to be very very hard uh but let's get straight to it boys let's get straight to it uh and girls so we've got the full <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the the fullback position mate and we've got some honestly the amount of blokes that want to play fullback for bloat fc it's through the roof we're, we're fending them off at the door it it breeds tens for the fullback position. It does. It's it's almost like the it's the champagne position of mm. Bloat FC. If you aren't a 10 10 and really a showstopper at fullback, get out of here, mate. Nah, you got no get chance. out of here. So we've got Kalen Ponga, I mean, charisma for days, mm. one of the most popular NRL players. We've got Reese Walsh, Ryan Pappenhausen, and Scotty Drinkwater. Now look, there's there's one that really stands out to me here, but in saying that, I do feel like some of the other boys have a lot to offer. Uh, I will say Scotty Drinkwater's got eyes that don't quit. Really beaut blue. They, they're almost like looking into an ocean. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Uh, and he's also got a bit of a country bloke about yeah, him. Yeah, he does. We which like that. We, we really like that because, as we all know, people love country blokes. Mm. Um, is there anyone that stands out for you in those people I just read? Yeah, I mean, look. Pong is always going to give you that little mysterious factor. I like the look. Tattoos is another big attribute that we look yes. for at Bloat FC. So that patchy tattoo sticker look, I like it. Mm. Paps, credit to him. I think he's been aspiring to be in Bloat FC for a while now. He's targeting that Bailey Smith look. So you've got to give him credit. What he's done, the time and effort he's put into his hair. Mate, you know, we both respect that. Absolutely respect But that. at the end of the day, when you talk about oiling up Reese Walsh, he's your number one. <laughs> Like, mate, you know one every day of the, the week. The eyes, the smile, that baby yep. face. Yeah. It's just, I want him at the back. Absolutely. So for fullback this year for Bloat FC, it's the great Reese Walsh. And it's it makes me proud to mm. do this. Oh. He's been in our system for quite a few years now. Oh, yeah. And to be able to bring him through, 
like we're essentially the storm of good looking footy clubs mm. and to be able to bring Reese Walsh through the way we have we've been patient we could have brought him in early there are a few things he needed to work on like yeah he had the natural beauty but did he did he fake tan every day? Mm. Did he moisturise before and after training sessions? Uh, did he make sure he was always wearing 30 plus sunscreen so that his skin didn't get damaged? Like, did he do all of the things that you need to do to stay hot? You're so right. And it's consistency. It's it's every interview. Yep. It's every post try celebration. <laughs> embrace your smile. Embrace your look. And he's, and he's done all the work. He's nailed ask. it. He's, he's killed it. He's nailed it. And he's also, he's come back to Broncos as a marquee signing. He gets it. He gets it. He gets, he gets it. it. Mate, so Reese Walsh. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Reese. Mate, you've earned it. You've earned it. Well um, it, honestly, it, it's a proud. It's almost like a proud dad moment, mm, really. It is because we look very similar. <laughs> There's literally you're literally a dead ringer. There's only one small facial feature that throws off, you, and my ears? otherwise, yeah, <laughs> there's uh. the sunglasses. <laughs> Okay, now let's go to the wings. Let's go to the wings. Here we go. Oh, the wings now. For years, the wing. I yeah, mean, come on. Controversially, but it's carried the Blood FC. It has carried the Blood FC because we're the closest to the crowd. Right. We barely play rugby league. <laughs> like, you've got no excuse for looking bad. No, no excuse. No excuse. You get all the glory. You've got the most camera time when you score tries. That's right. And so it's almost like if. It's almost like the halfback of the NRL now. Mm. You know what I mean? For mm. us, wingers are like the halfbacks. They get the big bucks. And at Bloat FC, it's a little bit different to your normal team. Like wingers, commonly, they're the captains of the side. <laughs> so yeah. I understand. Okay. They've got a lot of expectations, a lot of accountability. <laughs> Mate, a lot of normal. accountability. If you're going to stand out there and do fuck all, you better look good doing you it. better look good. <laughs> Jesus you Christ. Gotta look good. I don't know how I played NRL, that's for sure. Uh, Ruben Garrick, Joseph Suwali'i. Mm. Josh Adokar, Brian Toho, Harley Smith Shield. So even as a rookie, even as a smoky, he's been thrown in there. See, I, I still think he might be a, a year or two away. Yeah. And then we've got Dom Young, big explosive mm. athlete on the edge there. He's a showstopper. He is. I've seen him strutting down Derby Street in Newcastle. Oh, he's a, he's what a, a sight. What a sight. So look, now, I mean, this is one of the most tightly contested spots in, in the game. This is tough. This, I reckon I didn't sleep a wink last night over this position. Mm because that's how hard this is going to be. So you've got Dom Young, incredible athlete, good sort, tall, six foot seven. I mean, six foot seven is hard to beat. It's hard to beat. You've got Harley Smith Shields. He's, his eyebrows are, 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 are sculpted to within the inch of their lives, honestly. They are manicured. Uh, beautiful. beautiful. Then you've got Brian Tor, oh, one of the best smiles in the game. Like he's got one of the best smiles in the game. Amazing. And, and also the calves on him. Yes. You calves. know, like explosive. Calves are an underrated attribute of Absolutely. Bloat FC. Mate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then you've got Ado Carr, uh, greatest laugh in the game. Mm. Great charisma, gets the crowd going, can be on the wing there. Everyone wants to look at Josh Ado Carr on and the wing. credit to Josh Ado Carr. Mid-career, he's gone and got the Barry Beast done. <laughs> got the Barry the Beast Paul done. The the Willie Masons. Like, you got to hats off to him. That's, that's just the sort of commitment we're looking exactly, for. Exactly, exactly. Uh, then you've got Joseph Suwali that you just, when you talk about traditionally handsome, mm. that's what you're genetics. looking at. It's genetics. That's what it is. But it's also, you can tell he's been moisturising from mm. a young age. Well-groomed, yeah. It's been it's been instilled from him from a young age. It's he's been in like, the system for a while. I agree. Um, then you've got Ruben Garrick. He's honestly almost a veteran at the moment. He is. He's, he's almost a veteran. Now, who stands out for you for one of the wing positions in that list? Like I said, it's tough. If we, if we look at the attributes, as a winger, I'm, I'm quite harsh on my selections <laughs> and in terms of standards. Like, sure. where are we at? What, what Are you maintaining a certain olive complexion year round? Winter's not an excuse. <laughs> Abs, do we have abs or not? Are we willing to sacrifice abs for football? Not on the wing in Blood FC, you're not. So look, you look around, you've got to take all things into account, but we've got to give it to the veteran, the first spot, Ruben Garrick. Oh, 100%. You've taken the words out of your mouth. The Northern Beach, he's doing not, bad things. Absolutely. And as the great Hello Sport have said, he's got the Himalayas on his cheeks. Mm. They are so sharp, so big. One of the greatest cheekbones to ever play the game. So true. Seriously. And well manicured. He's got, the good thing about Garrick is, is he's a mixture of pretty but rugged. Mm. You know? He, yeah, he, I, yeah, I feel that. He can lean into the pretty side if he wanted to, but he, you can throw him in a bloody flannel some jeans and he's a country bloke. I like that. I like that. The and ability to go both ways. Absolutely. Mm. And sometimes, you know, ladies and men just want a rugged, rough mm. man. It's true. And also sometimes they want to wake up and see a bloke that looks like his hair has been done for 10 hours before he woke up and that's Garrick um, now the second position very this may be controversial but mate I'm just going to get out there and say it because I, I have faith this kid may be the next big thing for Blood FC 
Now, is he na- he's naturally gifted, but there's something about the way he carries himself off the field that just takes him to that next level and makes me think he's almost like the Latrell Mitchell, the Greg Inglis, the Lockie, the Joey of Bloat FC. Now, he's not there yet, but mm. he's, he's on his way. Suwali'i. Oh, great selection. Tall, handsome, beautiful, beautiful skin. Can it's, finish, it's, strong. It's the figure. It's the, it's the whole package. He's the whole package. He's the whole package. And, and he's, he's humble, even though he's super hot, wealthy, and successful. Which look, is not something you usually see with Bloat 100%. FC players. And in a team dynamic, you know how it is, especially at Bloat FC, we're going to need a player or two who can get around the boys, enjoy a night out, but not go too crazy. We have sat, had some controversy in the past. <laughs> yeah. So I like what Sua Lee brings to the team. Sua Lee is honestly, like, he's the bloke that you bring home to mum. Mm. You know? He, he's got everything about him. Whereas if, like, you know, because like, I'm hot like him, but... <laughs> I'm not as successful as him. <laughs> so if I was, I'd be arrogant as. Whereas he's still humble. And he I respect is. that. I respect that. So Suali'i and Garrick on the sting. Congratulations, yeah, boys. Good work, boys. I mean, again, marquee signings. You better deliver. <laughs> it is marquee signings. Kenby, we've been through it, mate. You've had, you know, the little grubber for the try. <laughs> I've jumped over corner post, but <laughs> nothing has got me to where I am. <laughs> more than my bloat FC position. So, <laughs> mate, I'm excited for the boys and what this is going to bring to their career. Oh, mate, it's going to take them to a new level. Like, if they aren't getting signed already as marquee players, they are now. Oh. Like, people thought Suwali was the next big thing this year. Once they find out he's in bloat FC, it'll be right, 100%. Third-party deals. <laughs> oh, I the opening roof. the floodgates for teeth But we take 50% of the 30-party deals, so just so you guys know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now into the centre position, which is like a... I like the centre position mm. because it's almost a bit of a rogue position because you can get a bit overshadowed by the fullback and the wing. But the centre position is almost like the diehard fans that really know about Bloat, Bloat FC. That's who they like. You know what I mean? Yes. The diehard fans. Like it, they, when you go out and you see the casual fan, they talk about the fullback, they talk about the winger. Whereas the diehards that know what a real good sword is, mm. they go for the centres. The centres. Mate. So we've got Joey Manu, we've got Herbie Farnworth, Oof. Stephen Crichton, Val Holmes. Isaac Tungor and Zach Lomax. What a lineup! I mean, it's a lineup. Wow. It is a lineup. Seriously, what, what's what's kind of jumping out to you there at this stage? Not not the person you're going to select, but what's jumping out to you? What's jumping out to me is it's a mix of stature, complexion, and muscle mass. Like we've got it all there in the centres. Salary cap, big salary cap issues for the centres, mate. <laughs> We, we are, There's yeah. some beautiful men. Mate, it's probably one of our hardest positions to select, I yeah. reckon. I mean, it's, it, as I said, it's it's the undercover one. It's the one that the real fans of Bloat get behind. Um, so, look, we've got guys like, look, I think <coughs> Tungor's had a fantastic opening year, mm-hmm. but I think he's he's got a couple of years left in him to really, really just develop his look. Yeah. Because I think he's still trying to find his look. You know I, what I mean? I agree. I you agree. know, like, you know, as you get a bit older and you look back at old photos, you just know you didn't have your look. You're wearing Dada, you're wearing FUBU, you're wearing <laughs> fucking Sean John, and you're going, what the fuck's going on there? <laughs> and so I'm not saying I was like, Tongo's been rolling around in Dada. <laughs> but I'm just saying the kid, he's got a few years to no, just find does. his look. It's he's true. Zach Lomax, I mean, big, tall, beautiful, blonde hair. Um, down at the Dragons, you know, usually would fit the mould perfectly. But because it's such a hotly contested position, it's tough to squeeze him into the side. It is tough. He's on He's on the edges. He's on the edges. Then you've got Val Holmes. Undercover, good, handsome, just a symmetrical face. He's a, he's a good looking man. Again, a little bit different to the others. And as you said, like the only thing I question about Val is like, is he willing to wear Dax wax before the game? I don't know. Yeah, that is a good point. It's a tough one. And it, we had we've had issues in trying it, when it comes to contract negotiations and bringing him through development. Mm. That was a sticking point of our. It's I not refuse. a product issue. We're not trying to favour gel over wax, but no way. To, to think that you're not actually willing to do your hair before the game, it's it's controversial. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Um, then we've got Stephen Crichton. I mean. Big sexy, I like to call him big sexy. Big, tall, rangy guy, a smile from the gods. He's a, he's faded with the inch of his life. I've never seen his hair Best above. In the West. I've I've never seen it above one mil. No way. I like never. If, he's on that six day turnaround at the barber shop. Absolutely. He's, Easily. He's keeping a few barber shops afloat. <laughs> he fucking rotates them. Hundred <laughs> percent. He's in so much. <laughs> 
Then we've got Herbie Farmworth. Oh, really? Just a classic look. Classic, classy look. I mean, it screams suit. Mm. I don't, it just see him in a suit. And a bit of English flavour in bloat. I don't mind that. I, I like it just too. That classic, sleek look. Absolutely. And like, look, we've got rough, we've got pretty, but do we have classy yet? Mm. That's the question we need I to ask I can see him yourself. in a little Peggy Blinder suit for the awards night, end of year. Absolutely. Just doing good things. Doing great things. Mm. Then we've got Joey Manu. Uh, look, a skin complexion from the absolute gods. The smoothest skin in the game, in my opinion. That's, again, I know it's controversial, but mm. beautiful skin. He's been in Bloat FC for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, look, he's got it all. He's got it all. And it's easy, too. Mm. He's also very photogenic. I th- I'd, I'd argue with Yeah, I do agree with that. Like, whenever he's, like, got a... Usually, like, when I was playing, I had a scrunched up face and looked rough as probably because it looks rough normally mm. but they look rough as whereas every shot you get of him it's a 10 out of 10 to the point where he's mid fending people in the face and he's still holding that like small jaw complexion little mid bite look like how he's got that down pat and you know what that is off. that's the details it is it that's is. the details that's, that's what gets you to that veteran's 100 percent. and as head of performance that's what you love to see that's what i'm looking for <laughs> So I think it speaks for itself. Joey Marnie gets the first spot. 100%. And congratulations, Joey Marnie. Oh, well deserved. Again. Well deserved. I mean, you've been absolute a stalwart of the Bloat FC squad for, for many a year now. Who's got the second spot for you? We've read them all out. It's a highly contested spot. Who have you got? Look, it's, it is a star-studded lineup in the centres. And there's a bit of variation there, which I like. But as head of performance... I've seen enough, and I know that we need that little bit of diversity, that little bit of classic edge. For me, mate, it's got to be Herbie Farmworth. Boom. I agree. Herbie Farmworth, classic edge, brings in brings in that English flavour. You know, like, and again, another bit of rough and tough, like relatable, but also aspirationally extremely good looking. Absolutely, and he would suit like when we put up the inspirational memes, mm. him in a suit behind the the foot the the text will look good. Amazing. So it's all about content in the it Bloat is. FC game. It it's is. all about content. Um, so congratulations, Herbie. You've, you've earned it, mate. You know, this is your debut year, if I recall correctly. And um, bring the English flavour, mate. Mm. Bring the English. I think there's a lot the English could teach us. The lads over there, bring it over here. There's plenty of culture they can bring. There's a fashion element to it as well. Absolutely. You know, like you said, mate, you know that we're going to get good content from Herbie. Oh, mate, great content. Now... To the 5A, so we're in the halves at the moment. Mm. Now, I just want to make it clear, uh, this is almost like the least important position for us because we don't give a shit how smart you are. It is. Like, whereas in a normal footy side, we need your halves to be smart. This footy side, don't care one bit. Bloat FC, our six and sevens are literally give the ball to the best looking blokes in the outside backs. Yeah. That's all you are. 100%. You play don't, a role and you get out. Don't care about field position. Don't care about completing sets. We're all about getting the ball to the wingers and the fullback. Exactly right. So this is all about pure looks. Mm. We don't need IQ. We don't need you to be fucking Einstein. To be honest, I don't think anyone's Einstein in the <laughs> squad, but um, including myself, if I'm being honest. But we've in the 5 eighth position, we've got Dylan Brown, Cam Munster, and Matty Burton. What what screams what stands out to you there? Look, again, it's a little bit different, as you know. They don't quite have the prowess that us wingers and outside backs have, but Dylan Brown, he he's, he's doing I mean, great things. He's doing great he's a things. Standout. He's a standout. He's hard he's, he's hard standout. to beat, but I will say, do we need to introduce a bit of a rogue? Mm. You know, the bad boy? The guy that gets in a fucking controversy every second <laughs> week and ruins a club? Well, it it does have its value, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like uh, any press is good press? So we could get the mad dog in Once here. has got, he, he, he's a bit of a trifecta there. You know, first of all, he's one minute, he's cowboy. He's running, he's running that farm look. But then, you know, on the weekend, he's partying. And then all of a sudden, he's back killing it on the footy field. He does give us a lot of variation. He'll get us the front like page it. quite a lot. Do like it. Because he'll, he'll win or publicity just... is good publicity for exactly. us. Exactly. Because we're struggling. Yeah. I took all the cash. <laughs> That's a lot of cash. I'm taking all the cash from the boys <laughs> and then just telling them. We're not them, getting the PR. This is over. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, Munster, we get him winning Origins, mm. but we also get point. some back page good stuff, dancing tables, all the good stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, we get one of the best sixes of a generation, but we also get a lot of publicity. So, that's hard to go past. That's hard to go past. And look, I'll be honest, he can scrub up okay. He can. He can. He can. I. The, my only question is, is he putting in the effort? Is he willing to put in the yeah. effort to his appearance? That's yeah. my only downfall. <laughs> what do you get out of Munster? It's mm. inconsistent. That's the Yeah, thing. that's true. Like on the field, you know he's going to play well, but we don't care about that. 100%. We care about off the field. How consistent is he with his kit? Mm-hmm. How consistent is he with a haircut? Whereas, you know, you've got shaved head one week, long hair the next week, exactly. moustache the next week. 
How can we work with that it's when we hard. go to brands? It's tough. And with your marquee players, that's what you're going to get. They're going to go a little bit rogue, do what they want. Mm. Can we afford to take that risk? I just don't know if we can mm. as a club, to be honest. So Safe look, bet. We know who it is. Look, but first I want to talk about Matty Burton. Matty Burton, smoky. He might be a smoky because he's got that youth about him. They're loving him out in the mm. Western Sydney. The Bulldogs of Belmore area. He's a, he's a king. Mm. You know, he, he's got country for sure about him. Uh, he, he can definitely relate to the, the country lass and man that just love country blokes. So there's a world where in a few years he could grow into, I mean, similar to Tungo, he might have grown into his look. Mm. Now, look, I don't think the headgear's helping him at all. No, that's, that's, that's let's probably discuss the, that, honestly. Probably the deal breaker. It is a deal breaker, bro. We need to see your head, bro. There's no, never before have I seen, and never has it ever been considered by a bloat FC player, in my opinion. Yes. And, you know, there's a long standing history with this club, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. And, like, if I'm. And I don't want to see it, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, and also, like, if I'm being brutally honest, and maybe this is wrong to say, but I don't care about the player's safety. No. <laughs> So, if you so, think player safety is more important than a post-match look? interview with a Kid. headgear hair on? No, like, <laughs> kidding you're kidding yourself. yourself. You are kidding no yourself. Way. We're here to fucking make money, not bloody win footy matches. <laughs> just, Jesus. Uh, so, look, it's got to be Dylan Brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. I think yes. everyone knew yes. that. Yes. Everyone yes. knew that. He's young. He's hot. He's moisturised within an inch of his life. I've never seen dry skin on him. Nah, you'll even, never see it. I mean, even when he was coming through the grades, he wasn't even in the NRL side, fully moisturised before every game and after every game. He's got that social presence we need. He's, he's, he's going to carry us. He's going to carry us. And also, like, growing up, he knew to always pack. You know, a lot of players just, like, throw in some, you know, their kit and it's all messy in their mm. bags. He's got full toiletry bags 100%. set up every game. Calvin Klein's on game day. Game day. He's rolling out with Armani Geo. Mm. Like, he sprays himself, not with links. He goes yeah. Armani Geo before a game. Love that. You, usually, like, you tackle blokes and they smell like a fucking donkey's asshole. <laughs> Dylan Brown smells nice. Yeah, and you're tackling Dylan Brown. It's not the Vaso James Graham. This is <laughs> coconut oil yes. moisturiser from Fiji. Yeah. Like, it's top-notch. It's top-notch. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Dylan Brown, massive yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Like, you've well earned deserved. it, mate. You're looking incredible. Just keep it up, mate. Just keep it up. And who knows? You could captain the club one day. Mm. I'm just throwing it out there. It's not. It's not unbelievable. It's, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Now, on to the halfback. Again, I just want to reiterate, we do not care how smart you are. So don't footy ever IQ think... Footy IQ doesn't get you far here. Footy IQ is overrated. Mm. Like, who cares about winning premierships? So don't think that you, the fact that you are incredibly smart on a footy field thinks you're going to get selected in Bloat FC. Now, you may be hot in that, and we will just ignore the fact that you're smart and just go that you're hot. So we've got Mitch Moses, Sean Johnson, and Nico Hines in the Oof. seven position. And this might be one of the toughest decisions mm. we've made all year because you've got the baby blues, Mitch Moses. You've got Sean Johnson, who he's, he's actually the current seven from last year and a classically handsome man. And then you've got hot boy Hines. It's just absolutely come onto the scene. <laughs> and blown it up and i mean what's what are your thoughts on those three plays it's a it's a great diverse mix mm. i love what mitch moses brings nico hines is just your classic hot boy long hair oh. beautiful and then we've got that little bit of pacific flavor with shawnee johnson that it's, brown complexion oh you, beautiful you know we need it do we do we double up there in that position as we said it's not about footy iq but what hines brings mm. is undeniable Look, it's 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 a real tough one. <coughs> Shawnee and Johnson. It's strategic. It's the water in the hair pre-game. Exactly. Like, don't tell me it's for any other reason. It's not as a performance director. I understand performance. <laughs> it's not about performance. It's about the look, and I respect it. I respect it. Like, respect and, it. and I also the the ability to come up with a technique to make your hair be wet all the time and always keep it at the right length. Yes. You know what I mean? There's one thing getting a fade every seven days, but mm. to keep that at this oh. perfect bob, yeah. it's amazing. And and like. You know, if he went too much water, he'd look like a drowned rat. Mm. He keeps it bloody perfect. Like, not too it's much, perfect. not enough. It just looks a bit wet. They say he holds, at all time, the trainer has a bo water bottle measured to about 140 mils, which is <laughs> phenomenal stuff. <laughs> phenomenal stuff. We should we should give our, uh, our trainer a fucking raise. Yeah. But fuck him. That level of detail. <laughs> yeah, fuck him, though. <laughs> we're, we're battling. We're battling. Fuck it. <laughs> We've got no money. <laughs> 
special uh, on baby oil. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and also legal legal battles. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think it's obvious. Nico Hines, yeah. he's taking the world by storm. Congratulations, mate. It's just the hair. It's the, it's the, like, yeah, he's a good player, but who gives a shit? When you look like Heath Ledger from 10 Things I Hate About You, <laughs> you're doing whatever you want. You're doing whatever you want. So true. And we both know 10 Things I Hate About You. Like, a lot of people watch, like, any given Sunday before a match. Like, that's what a lot of squads watch. We're watching 10 Things I Hate About You and rom-coms. That's what we watch here at Bloater C, <laughs> rom-coms and romantic movies, pretty much. And strategically, you've owned that role, that look. Like, you're getting birds overthrown on Netflix and putting on a bit of Heath. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we look familiar. Similar. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. How weird is that? Tactic. Um, I like and it. it's, it's, I love it. It's, it's tactical. And he's a marquee player for us. Like, it's a big deal. It's, it's a big deal. And so, hopefully, look, we've offered the contract. Hopefully, he takes it. Now, I understand he won a Dalian, but as I said, we don't yeah, give that, a that shit. That really means nothing. It means nothing. So, don't try and throw around you need yeah, heaps of money. No leverage, no weight here. No weight at all. So, just... Like the fact that you might win a premiership this year and all that kind of carry on, who gives a shit? Mm, who's your hairdresser? That's more important to us. Exactly. If you want to, if you can bring some of the big names in hairdressing yeah. on to Bloat FC. The team, as your network, that's appealing to That's us. a big win. That's yeah. And then we can talk about big money. But right now, it goes to the wingers and the fullback. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> now, we're into the real, like the nitty gritty of Bloat FC, the props. It's, it's, what I love about the props is it's it's unexpected. It's You expect, you know, rugby league, rough and tumble. No, we've got some real softies in the front mm. row that really do care how they look. I mean, they pretend they don't, and no. great. Like, and, they, and they have to. <clears throat> they have to. We it's, get it. It's, we get it, guys. We get it. But we know what you really like. Mm. You care about what you look like, and we, we understand you've actually developed techniques to make it look like you don't care. Mm. So it's kind of like when girls do, like, the messy hair look. So it's a look, they put it together, but mm. it looks messy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get you. Front rows are the kings of that. The messy hair look, oh, I don't care about how I look. Meanwhile, they spent 30 minutes in the mirror looking at it. <laughs> um, so we've got some absolutely fantastic names. We've got Tino, Toby Rudolph, Christian Welsh, RCG, Corey Horsburgh, Joseph Tarpanair, and Mark Nichols. What, what are your thoughts on that, that batch of men? I know, what you, I know what you're saying. It's that big man vibe too, mm. you know. They they go under the radar, but realistically, I know they don't get the love, the attention, the accolades mm. that some of our other players would get. Wingers, yep. centres, outside backs, as we've mentioned. But ultimately, you need that big man. 100%. You do. And, and like, sometimes the Tinos, it, the Tarpanes, they, they, they get me going. That, mate. Do they get... I mean, the thing is, is that... They're pound for pound hot, mm. if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. So, like, you usually you're, you're a bit smaller and you're all hot. They'd be hot whether they're 110 kilos or they're an 85 kilo winger. Mm. Pound for pound hot. <laughs> <laughs> they can fight at any weight class. And so, look, uh, first of all, I want to send a special mention to Corey Horsbright. He was very close to getting selected because I think red's coming back. I yeah, think the red yeah. is coming back. And I think we could help it come back. Mm. So... Just don't be don't dis- write it off. Don't be disheartened, no. Corey. Don't be disheartened. Keep working on the moisturizer. You know you're clearly tanned all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep working, big fella, because you'll be here one day, um, and you might get as good looking as me one day. <laughs> but so and look. Yeah, like I, I, I really believe the Reds coming back. Yeah, look, I agree. Uh, I'd love to see a Red make the starting lineup, mm. um, but if I could give any advice to Corey, it's, you know, it's about time that you really need to step into your role and go away from the mullets. Yeah, you know? mix it up a bit. Yeah, go away from that that look of that Dracula vampire look. Like, <laughs> go away from it. Just get in the sun before and after training. <laughs> And yeah, but I mean, you don't want to stay there too long. Though. No, you don't. You definitely don't, because that's that's not a good look either. But mate, if I can say, just next year, there's there's a position for him. Mm. We're not writing him off. And oh no if way! Can, if there's just if he can put in a little bit of time in and around training, he could and be there. Sharpen that up. He could be there. I can see it. I can see it. Corey Horsburgh, and he's got something about him. There's he a does. bit of pizzazz about he's him, you know. Edge. He has an exactly. Mm, he has an edge. Absolutely. Um, we've got Christian Welsh now. He, he tells everyone he meets that he went to Harvard, which is <laughs> infuriating um, because we don't give a shit, bro. <laughs> like, we don't Gets care. Gets you no street cred here. No street cred. Matter of fact... Actually, that, don't tell us that you went to yeah. Harvard. Yeah. Say you Unless dropped you out. Unless you went there on a frat party. That's all I want to hear That's about. That's all we want to hear about. That's it. Say you dropped out of school in year two. Mm. 
that impresses me as a bloke who's because you can be easily manipulated. I can take percentage of your promo deals that you do. Um, <laughs> so look, I think Christian Welch has a classic, a bit of a classic look, mm. um, but I do think he needs to stop telling people that he went to Harvard. Mm. I agree. <laughs> It, it just it's just not going to do him any favors around the bloke community now look I, i've seen it out in a night he's willing to grab a bottle of rose and you know sh- shouting drinks here and there but i think the last time i seen christian it was a pink polo shirt it was a bottle of rose in the corner of the club now that's got a bit of bloat about it, it i won't does. lie yeah okay you know okay I mean? and it's almost like a polarizing look because he's, mm. he's he's kind of classical but he's going pink which is mm. like it's in your face kind of thing. And I know it's not the typical, you know, your typical bloat will stand in the corner, the ladies will come to him, but he's willing to put in the groundwork. Well, not only the groundwork, he's willing to grind you down. Yeah, well, he needs to, because... Yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you're definitely in our sights, Christian. We, we, we just think you need to lay off telling everyone how smart you are, that's it. Mm. And there's an element of like, does he go for more of a Thurston look? <coughs> um, and, you know, pin those... <laughs> You know, just find a find a hair hairdo that could to do him a couple of favors. So that's it, again, just not looking to take over, but just give it a little bit of advice. Yeah, cons- as a veteran. constructive and someone who cares about the club. Like yeah. you know, I've been been involved for years, and now looking at the performance, I think it's important. And like from myself, like being an extremely good looking guy, I can give advice mm, like that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Okay, RCG, the moustache always works. Mm. It, it, it really, it it's hard to say no. Do we no. have a moustache currently? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. And it's hard to say no to a moustache. Because it's, it's aggressive, it's a showstopper, it's a, it's a conversation starter. So, it's although... A it, it, it's a... <laughs> did you say tickler? <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be hard to say no, but RCG, hang in there, mate. All these boys, I mean, the fact that you're being put up for selection is a compliment. It's a big deal. Big, big deal. Especially a prop. You can put bloat nominated, like kind of like when they say Oscar nominated mm. next to an actor, you can put bloat nominated. Next time you go into contract negotiations with the club, put bloat nominated on the <laughs> the offer and it'll help. I agree. Couldn't agree. <laughs> um, Marky Nichols, look, he's got a bit of mongrel about him. We like that. Um, a, few, a few rough areas I think he needs to clean up a little bit, but... There is potential there. There's potential there. But who stands out for you? I mean, we've got Toby Rudolph, who he may be the, like, if oh, he might, he is so close. He is. So close. He really is. Um, I've got, there's rumours of a head shave, which I'm not stoked about, just oh, from a performance perspective. Yeah, wow. I love, I love what he's doing. Love yeah. the cause, but ultimately, so close, yet now potentially so far. Yeah, I mean, the, the locks really did work the for him, locks, didn't they? The budgies. And, and it, you're right, it was an incredible cause and good on him, but we're really selfish here at Blake. Mm. We only care about us. That's right. Um, so oh, it's going to be hard. You, you're there or thereabouts. But who stands out for you for that first prop spot? Mate, he's, it's got to be, and he's he's been doing good things for a long time. It's not only a classic look, but it's also he understands what's needed from a bloat FC perspective. He got all the credentials, yeah. and uh, with the pound. new hairdo, it's it's got to be big Tina. Yeah, I mean pound for pound, beautiful pound for pound, beautiful man, small or big, whatever he can go with the best of them. He's got the mullet, so he's got a bit of mongrel about mm. him, but it's not like a half mullet. Nah. He's gone all the way with that shit, hundred um, percent. And I think that like there's something about a pretty big man, mm. you know, like he he just. He exudes prettiness, but at the same time, he's got grunt about him. And, you know, he's worked it, that, that pout that he's got. It's, he's worked oh. that in beautifully, subtly. Worked so it with an inch of his life. Oh. It's just perfect. Because, like, it looks like he's not putting it on. No. But Sometimes he, you question, is he pouting, is he not? Exactly, which is what you want. You want to keep the, the viewer in suspense. And he does it every – it's beautiful. Symmetrical face, beautiful skin. I mean, it doesn't get much better than Tino. No. It really doesn't. One of, one of our most promising rookies. And again, another bloke that I could see captaining bloke, uh, Bloat FC one day. And he's come through the system. <coughs> Bloat FC really has had a massive impact on his look and development. So I'm, I'm proud. Of, yeah, yeah, mate, mate, congratulations. So, so now there's one man that I forgot to mention. Mm. And I, I left him out because I just think that this guy, you know, he's the next big thing, especially in the forwards. He's got the hair, the classical look, arms that won't quit. He's... <laughs> He is, honestly, he's the next big thing. The next big thing at Bloke. It's Patrick Carrigan. Oh, stop it. Like, honestly. Wow. Does it get much better than this? Much more exciting? 
when you talk about up and comers. Oh my god. Now, again, pound for pound hotness. What do we talk about in the front row? That's what we look for. We look for pound for pound hotness. We're not going, oh, you're hot for a front rower. Nah, you, you can't. You it's not going to get it done. Not going to get it done. You nah. need to be hot, just hot. And Paddy Carrigan fits that mold perfectly. He's got it all. He's got it all. Got a rig on him. He can go all day. He's hot. Like the, the hair, how it like sometimes oh. gets messy and then sometimes he's got it all nice and, and uh, done up. It's just, he can go many different looks. I love it. Strategically, what he's done with his hair has just done him huge favours. Massive, for the massive favours. So, massive congratulations, Paddy Carrigan, Paddy Carrigan, down the front rower. Here we go. <clears throat> now we're at the hooker position. In the hooking role, potentially, we have Harry Grant, Blake Braley, and we have uh, Connor Watson. Mm. Now, look, Harry Grant has got the real surfer vibe about him. Yeah. Real surfer vibe. Like, you know, if we wanted to go down the route of like the point break, like, oh, yeah, mad fucking surfy in the green room, all that carry on, he might be the guy to and do it. And that typical hooker shit, like putting your head where others won't, that won't, that's not going to get you far with bloat. Like, you need to be avoiding any of that sort of rough and tumble as much as possible. We try to keep the tackle count below 25 at a hooker. 100%. Like, if you're going over 40, get out of here. No. If you've got line speed and you think you're going to get up there and cuts and bruises at like mate you're not gonna you're not gonna last long here you're not, we can't have <laughs> you last about three games and we say get out of here yeah, like yeah okay you saved three tries who gives a shit <laughs> like seriously so you know and that's where i think harry grand really lets us down he's got too much line speed mm. and that pisses me off because mm. i keep telling him bro just miss a few tackles please we don't care about don't winning care. games <laughs> this isn't about stats <laughs> like you're too much of a competitor do like, you look good yeah exactly and right now you've got a cut across your forehead doesn't look good <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> then we've got uh, look really exciting prospect Blake Braley yes like when we talk about the blonde hair the smile that could just melt your heart we're talking about movie star kind mm. of stuff like see him in a rom-com I could see him in a rom-com you know that Aussie Aussie good looking surfy guy that's what I can yeah, see yeah I agree and he's and he, and he knows he's playing to his strengths he's got that classic smile oh I'm seeing big things it's that's that's a tough one it's a tough one then we've got Connor Watson I mean, guys. Goes without saying. Like, who are we kidding here? Who are we kidding? One of the best looking men in rugby league. Um, you know, hates making tackles, mm. hates hard work. <laughs> and just like all the stuff that we respect, he's, a, he's about a, that. 80 minutes, not a hair out of place. It's a beautiful it's sight. It's a beautiful sight. It's unbelievable. Now, look, is he known for how much hard work he does? Yeah, but we have, we've done the, we watched the footage and I reckon there's areas where he just says, nah, fuck it. Mm. <laughs> He says, I'm too hot for this shit. <laughs> then I love that. That's what we're about here. I fucking love that. That's fucking mad. So, Connor Watson, mate, of course you've made the side. You are our number nine. It was, it wasn't even a conversation. Yeah, it really wasn't. Like, it, it honestly wasn't. Now, look, I'm, some of the young guys excite me, but <laughs> Connor Watson is just, he's, he's a different breed. He's in a leg of his own. <clears throat> he is. He really is. Now, we're into the lock position. We've got Cam Murray, Jake Travojevic, and Toby Rudolph. So Toby Rudolph's actually been, he can be moved into that lock position as well, I think. And that's what I, that's why I want to get him in there. Cause I, I do think Toby Rudolph, he, he's got, he's got, he's got him. utility about him. He's got, he's got a lot about him. Uh, look, I think the answer is pretty clear here. Cause he's our captain. Mm. Cam Murray. It would be disrespectful. Cam though. Murray. Yeah. We don't even need to discuss it. We don't, it's Cam Murray, mate. Of course it is. Cam Murray. I mean, look, can, uh, uh, <laughs> If you wanted to look at the ideal player, the, a leader of men, a leader of bloats, it's Cam Murray. Like oh. he, he honestly, he's got his face moisturised at all times. Like he's, he looks like he's dipped his head in water every time I see him because mm. his skin is that shiny. And look, we're big on science. We're moving towards that in terms yeah. of performance. Like yeah. all of the, some of the old school modalities that we've used in terms of moisturiser, coconut oil, teeth whitening, it's great. But when we look at the profile of the perfect bloke, man, yeah. he's just got all the attributes. He's got all of it. He's got a great rig, a smile. He's he's almost, a, he's got cuteness about yeah, him. Yeah, he does have that cute factor. Yeah, and the cute factor, it, it's you timeless. Don't, you don't find that in a, in a forward in the bloats. No, like, you don't. The cute you don't, factor uh, is... The cute, like, how, you know, when a girl walks in or a guy walks in and they see him and they go, man, that, that's it. there's that crazy footy player that mm. lets, works his ass off, all that kind of stuff. Damn, he's cute. It's, mm. it's almost like, you know, when you have deep fried ice cream at a, and you get those two sensations, hot and cold? Mm. That's what he offers, a hot and cold. He's the deep fried of hotness. Mm. <laughs> it's sweet and savoury. Exactly. Mm. It gives you both. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it almost, and when you eat it, you go, how is this possible? How didn't they melt the ice cream every time? 
doesn't matter how many times you do it, you go, this was put in extremely hot deep fryer. Every time. Why isn't the fucking ice cream frozen? It's the same with Cam Murray. This guy is extremely hot and he's masculine, but he's also cute. And, and for that, that reason, he's our captain. That's the reason he's a captain. And also he does all the, I mean, of course he does all the little things. Moisturizes every day. His teeth, beautiful. Impeccable. In, everything's impeccable. Tan, it, it just, it doesn't stop with Cam Murray. <clears throat> now, let's head to our bench. On our bench this year, for the first, the first position, we're going for a utility role. And we have selected Blake Braley. Oh. I, I mean, he's made his day. This is his debut for Bloke. And I just think he's earned it. You know? He has. And that, that smile that we were talking about, there's no doubt going to come opportunities where the camera is panning to the bench. Yep. And you know that Blake Braley is going to be there shining oh, every mate. time. Every time. Every time. And, and like the fact that like his hair, it's, it just doesn't move all game. I don't know how it, well, he, it's obviously Dax. There's not an inch out of place. There's not it an inch out Dax. of place. It has to be. It like, has to be. He walks off the field, he looks like he hasn't played a minute, <laughs> which is what we want here at Bloat FC. We don't want your jersey dirty. Matter of fact, don't dive on the ground because we can't afford new jerseys. <laughs> So Blake Braley, massive congratulations, yeah, mate. You've well earned deserved. it. And also the name. I like, you know, two Bs, mm. BB, Blake with a Y. It's it's got everything it needs, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you you want to you want to keep mixing it up so people every time someone tries to spell his name, they're like, no, no, it's just with a Y. You want to do that. <laughs> you do and it's do more that. chance to start a conversation too. Oh, well, what nationality is that? No, it's just Blake with a Y. <laughs> um, so congratulations, Blake, mate. That work, just mate. just classical rom com. Mm. Rom com hot. Yeah. He's rom-com hot. He is. Um, now, on to the next bench spot. We've got another big fella here. And I like, he's been in, a, he was in our side last year. He keeps his spot because talk about a good looking man. And also sometimes just doesn't get appreciated for how good looking he is. Pound for pound hot. It's Tarpanen. Oh, Mate, absolutely. congratulations Tarpanen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A bit of a Tino doppelganger. So, uh, you know, it's it's great to have both in the side. Oh, double trouble. Mm. Double trouble. And just, as I, as we've said, like, they just, it just all works. It, it all comes together and in this. Tino Tarpane combination on a night out. Oh. You, know you know they're doing great things for the reputation of Blake Oh, FC. my God. That's, that's important to us. But 100%. When, when you go out and they're wearing shirts that look like they're painted on, but they look ripped out of their mind, smiles for days, they look like they're kind of pounding but not pouting because it's just so beautifully symmetrical. That's what you want here at Blow so to see. Um, arguably two of the most photogenic front rows of all time. Seriously, that is actually true. When it I think about true. it, <laughs> like think about the front rows that have come through. It's fucking tough. <laughs> it's <laughs> tough. tough. Uh, again, pound for pound hot. Pound Tino pound. and, and Tarpanet, pound for pound hot. Tino, Tarpanet. Now, for the last, the second last spot on the bench, the second last spot on the bench goes to Toby Rudolph. Oh. I'm, good. I'm glad to see him in the side. Yeah, look, look, he did shave his head, but we can work with that. Yeah. You know, we, we can work with it. Maybe we, we go the bad boy angle. You know mm. what I mean? Maybe get him to, like, do some illegal shit and get him arrested, <laughs> ruin his career. We can go that way and, like, get the mug shot, and then that goes viral, then Bloat FC goes the viral. Mug shot. Again, you remember a couple of years ago, that model, he, he got arrested that's and then come out. Like, that. that's where I can see Toby Rudolph Yeah, just like this. Robert Carr or something. Career after footy, that's important. You know what? We'll stage it, get him to rob a car. We'll have cameras watching it so it goes viral. Look, Toby Rudolph robbing a car. We'll send him up, get the cops in, gets arrested. Mark shot goes viral. Bang. Boom. Blood FC all over the world. Lovely. It's, that's a plan. That's a plan. And as I said, I want to make it extremely clear. I don't give a fuck about my players. <laughs> so if he gets arrested and doesn't come out, it's not my problem. At least we get some exposure. <laughs> Congratulations, Toby. Honestly, Toby. mate. Good fucking. Man. And then, oh, the, the you energy. You know he's looking good in a pair of bloaters. Oh, of too. course he is. The energy he's going to bring, it's going to be beautiful. Um, now, the last spot in the starting side. We haven't mentioned this man, but look, sometimes, and I don't like to say this, this, this like when other people say this, it pisses me off. But because I'm so deep in the game and I, I understand when you get this deep that sometimes it can be true, sometimes it's about more than looks. Again, Whoa. Pretty much, we're talking like 0.05% of the time. Okay. We're like, never. So I don't want to ever say like, it's controversial in, in the bloat world. It mm. is. But if I want to lead us into a bright future, I need to make some controversial calls. And I need to say that sometimes someone can be so fucking rugged and so rough and so aggressive and have so much testosterone that it just trumps everything, everything. And that man is 
Ray Stone. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it, I like see, it. you see where I'm coming from? We need that alpha. 100%. And like blokes are always going to try and start us because we're all hot, including 100%. me. Like I, I get started all the time because I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because of any other reason. No, it's a thing. Like yeah. whenever I get started, I'm like, oh, I say to my missus, like, is it because I'm hot? And she's like, why yeah. It, it's like it's the same thing. Like, why is everyone looking at me? A hundred percent. It's not because like uh, they've got a podcast or anything like that. <laughs> I think it's like because I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> has to be. <laughs> <It> has to be. <laughs> So Ray Stone, I mean, Ray carved out a stone. Uh, honestly, you, yeah, when you Great got a bloke, yeah, yeah, look, I, he was a, he's a, he's come out of nowhere. He's a bolter. Hmm. No one expected Ray Stone to just cruise on into to get that seventeen jersey, but he's done it. And I look, welcome, mate, yeah. welcome. And like you said, moisturizer, the coconut. It might not be a thing, but he ain't going on the beach down in fucking knee swingers. He's rocking the budgie. He's going down there hot yeah, as one hundred percent. And again, love it for what he's gonna like for the fact that he refuses to whiten his teeth. He refuses mm. to to wax his legs. <laughs> the fact that he does that, and all the other boys definitely do do mm. that. Um, we let it slide because I'm not trying to get bashed on a night out. Nah, I need someone to protect me. And it's Ray Stone. Ray Stone. So, welcome to the club, mate. Um, now, look, we've got an 18th man here. <coughs> we've got an 18th man because I couldn't leave this guy out. No. He's got too much about him. He's Look, this is a bit of a left field one, but I personally think he might be one of the hottest 18th men we've ever seen. That's that's how far I'm going with this guy. Wow. Um, a lot about him. A lot about him. I mean, when you talk about getting the people going, this is the guy. Mark Nichols, 18th man. Wow, Marky Nichols. This is a huge moment in his career. Oh, huge. massive moment in his career. 18th man, he can just slot in. You know, if Ray Stone wants to just tell us to go fuck ourselves because he doesn't like this shit, <laughs> we, bring Mark, we bring Mark Nichols into 17. So, like, we keep ourselves prepared for all possibilities. Mm, I like the play there. Um, so, Marky Nichols hits 18th man, and, and does it bring me incredible joy to do that? Yes, it does. And look, I mean, if that isn't a good side... I don't know what is. Please. Like, come on. Like, let us know in the comments section what changes would have you made? What, have, has there been any debacles, disasters? Mm. Is there any um, swaps you'd make? I'm proud of the team. I'm proud. I'll put it out there confidently and say this team is what Bloat is all about. And I know, you know, the likes of Craig Wing, Luke Rickardson, they'd be proud to. 100% they'd be proud. Yeah. You as, think, the, as the, you know, the OGs. The OGs. Like, Craig Wing, argue, like hottest man in rugby league. I mean, he's probably moisturising right now. Easily. Like, oh, seriously, he probably has a moisturiser bottle in each room <laughs> just to make sure he's staying hydrated. At all times. At all times. Um, so, look, that's that's the selection for 2023. Massive congratulations, congratulations to all the boys, boys. boys that made it. But huge honour. Even the guys that were nominated, congratulations for being nominated. It's a huge honour to be nominated. Just to be recognised. Exactly. I mean, we've done our research, mate. We've gone out, we've looked at all the tape, we've done all the data, and we found the best team for Bloat. Is there any, any last words in regards to Bloat? Any players that stand out for you that you're looking forward to seeing this year? Mate, I think there's a few on the cusp there that I'm really excited about. I'd, I'd love to see them embrace mm. what we need yeah. out of this year. But ultimately, to the boys that have been selected, it's a huge honour. Something to be taken seriously. Make sure you're manicured. Make sure your hair's done. <sighs> Mate. Get out there and do some bad things on a Saturday night. And a little bit of controversy, boys. This thing ain't going to run itself. Absolutely. We need PR. So, 100%. look, huge congratulations. It's a massive honour. And also, just so you know, the contracts are one day contracts, so we literally will cut you <laughs> fucking whenever. <laughs> Every day you come in, you sign your contract. <laughs> so don't think you can roll in with fucking dry skin and think oh, I'm not going to blow up about it. You're gone, mate. And then we'll leak to the paper. We'll we actually we take nudes of everyone before they come in, and then we leak them to the paper if they do anything wrong. <laughs> That's our content. That's we get nudes. <laughs> <laughs> That is Bloat FC for 2023. Thank you for the, the massive, the biggest fan base in rugby league. Uh, you know, we really do appreciate your support. Look, keep sending in all that cash. It's definitely going to the players and not me and Sandor. Um, there is no corruption here. I know there's been some articles throughout the year saying Bloat FC is corrupt and, you know, the owners are stealing all the money and they don't actually pay their players. Like, I know all of that. All fake news. All fake news. Never missed a payment in my life. Never. Never, ever. Uh, so, look, don't believe what you read. It's the Matrix trying to ruin blow to see. <laughs> it's the Matrix trying to ruin blow to see. <laughs> don't believe what you read in the paper. 
we're a tight knit club. We're going for a wooden spoon because we don't believe in premierships. <laughs> Premierships are for losers that don't care about what they look like. <laughs> We're going for the spoon. Um, and, yeah, we'll see you next year and uh, enjoy the ride this year. Get around it. <laughs>